Hello guys, we started our channel with a lot of passion and hard work. Our vision and aim is to make you understand how Ayurvedic drugs and its principles works by giving a modern base to it. That is by breaking down Ayurvedic drugs into phytochemicals. These phytochemicals are the chemical extracts of plant parts which are having desired effect on our body. All Ayurvedic preparations contain these phytochemicals thereby explaining its reactions in our body or in any specific disease condition. In our first video, we are taking an important and vastly used drug in Ayurveda, that is Pippali. So, without wasting any more time, let's start our first video. This is Dr. Shama Prasad and you are watching Phytochemicals. Some of the main chemical constants of Pippali are piperin and piper longamine. It is also called as piplatin. Then sesamine, piper monalin, and piper undicaridine. Although I have said five of the phytochemicals in Pipili, but we are going to talk about only two, that is piperin and piper longamine. Let us understand some of the action of Pipili and the phytochemicals which are helping to attain it. Pipili in various Ayurvedic preparations such as Pipili as well, Chiravil Badi Kashayam, Kangainavadi, etc., acts as acne debugger or as a digestive enhancer. In accordance with Ayurveda, Pippali acts in our digestive system by bringing back imbalanced Pitta to its normal equilibrium state. The Pitta is one among the Tritosha and any imbalance in these Tritosha will cause abnormalities in our body. So this Pitta will be in a decreased state which will directly affect our digestive capabilities. So Ayurveda states that by bringing imbalanced Pitta to its normal optimum condition we will relieve ourselves from the disorders which are mentioned earlier. Although, when we start giving some phytochemicals knowledge as a base to the action of this drug, then we can easily understand, because of some phytochemicals, this particular drug causes specific actions in our body. Many physiological effects of piperin have been found out recently. That is, piperin favorably stimulates the digestive enzymes of pancreas. It also enhances our digestive capacity by significantly reduces the gastrointestinal transmit time. A recent study also revealed that the piperin helps those patients who are having dysphagia, that is difficulty in swallowing. Another important action of piperin is that piperin is a great availability enhancer. So because of this action, it enhances the bioavailability of some drugs. So as to make the absorption and effect of those drugs easier and faster. Next, we are going to look into the action of piperin in respiratory disorders. Tashamula Kadutrayam Kashayam, Thali Sadhi Churna, Pippali Rasayanam and Tashamula Rasayanam have Pippali as a main drug. Ayurveda tells us that Pippali helps in relieving Kapha Dosha, thereby helps in treatment of so many Kapha related diseases. Pippali is an ultimate remedy for diseases like asthma, bronchitis, COPD, cough and cold symptoms. Piperin again comes into action. Piperin is a great anti-inflammatory agent and can give relief from cough and congestion. Due to its irritation nature to mucosal membrane, it can also help in removing phlegm from the tract. The next one is anti-diabetic action of Pippali. Pippali in Eladi Churna, Meghana Dharasa, Lodrasava, Madhuasava acts as diabetic agent. Piperin and Piplatin helps in maintaining the normal homeostasis of blood glucose during diabetes. It is also a remedy in treating diabetic complications. Pippali, as described in Ayurveda, is a plant with sufficient potency which not only takes out diabetes from the body but also stops the accumulation of other complications by maintaining the functions of the body system such as liver metabolism, heart problems, etc. Now, moving forward to the anti-tumor action of Pippali. Many studies reveal that Pippali is having great and effective resistance to tumors. Piper longomine or Piplatin is cytotoxic in nature. That is, it cannot be used for a longer duration. So, this action of phytochemicals can be concentrated over cancerous cells. And thereby destroying those cells from our body. We can also see that piperin is also having a hand in inhibiting the growth of unwanted cells in our body. That is, 
piperin inhibits overgrowth of vessels in our body piperin was found to be cytotoxic towards dalton's lymphoma ascites and enrich ascites carcinoma piperlongomine sesame piperin helps to increase wbc formations in our blood thereby increasing immunological activity of our body as ayurvedic doctors we are not trying to make unwanted statements like ayurvedic principles are outdated but we are just making you understand why a certain drug told by ayurvedic acharyas have particular actions by giving a phytochemical light into it maybe this piperin and other phytochemicals in pipali is indirectly correcting the doshas as said by our acharyas for the solar reactions of phytochemicals in our body how you take this video is entirely up to you but we have to state something without extracting these phytochemicals or without getting help of any technological advancements our acharyas found out the actions of pipali way before 5000 years with only mere observation and experiments they told us pipali is great and effective in various aforementioned diseases and it sure does if you found out that this video is helpful to you then please subscribe our channel and give a thumbs up to the video thank you